Okay, so the world of robotics is just getting insane. So there's this company called Boston Dynamics. Their whole purpose in life is to create the most advanced robots the world has ever seen. They've gone from nothing to a heroin bot that snorts crack and just wriggles around on the ground Sorry, to what? actual moving quadruped robot to this insanely advanced robotic I've dog seen this one. Spot. All of the big tech YouTubers um, like Unbox Therapy reviewed and possibly Linus as well. Yeah, looks pretty insane. And I think the problem with robots has been their ability to move and stand and balance like humans. You know, we don't just fall over and that's been the problem with the, these robots. It can map its environment and learn in real time from things around it. It can traverse terrain that robots could previously never walk on. It's the culmination of 30 years of research and development. It's an engineering Being master. able to not fall over is crazy. I want to make it piss beer into a cup, so. <laughs> ago when I watched the reveal trailer for Spot on the Boston Dynamics YouTube channel and I lost my goddamn mind. And it was the coolest thing I'd ever seen. It was a robot that could move like a dog. I had to see it in person, so what did I do? I messaged them. I emailed them. I even tweeted at them. I would do anything for a Boston Dynamics robot dog to just be here. And what did they say? We're only giving it out to construction companies. And of course I was bummed about that. What am I gonna do? So I just accepted it, moved on, and then two weeks later, what do I see but Adam Savage gallivanting around with the robot dog. Does he Adam Savage is the old Mythbusters guy, isn't he? Look like a construction company? No, those <laughs> bastards lied to me. And so I waited, and I waited, and I waited until Spot became publicly available. And then with the help of Offline TV and the sponsor I lied to about where their entire budget was going, there's a Boston Dynamics robot dog right here. It just looks awesome. And it's the coolest fucking thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Look! <laughs> Can you imagine having one of these in your home? I'm pretty sure it would freak out the animals. Like Joey laying there, that would freak him right out. Look at it, it's so sick! You can control all of its movement with this little baby shitter Nintendo Switch controller. <laughs> but also, they let you write code for it, and the API documentation is only kind of ass. At that point, you don't even need the fucking GameCube controller, because you can run it entirely off of software written on a computer. The level of advancement is just staggering. Yeah, but come on, the old like Nintendo controller looks pretty my cool. Hands every time I execute code on, and above everything, it's just so fucking cool. It's so sick. How did they make it so sick? But you still lied to me. You lied to me, Boston Dynamics. And so you're gonna have to watch as I turn your state-of-the-art <laughs> robot dog into a machine that pisses beer into a cup for me to drink. Why specifically that? Because beer. it sounded funny. I don't fucking know. Let's this guy does swear a, few, uh, a fair bit. As you know, if you've been watching my channel, I, I try not to swear. I may swear normally, but you know, I try. We're on, we're on, we're on the internet. Try and be polite. But what a great idea! As long as it can do cider as well. Say I want to get shit faced, you know, to cope. But eventually, my beer is going to be gone, but my sadness isn't. So what am I going to do? Fill it myself like some fucking Neanderthal? No. Here's what I want. I want to place my empty cup <laughs> on the ground. The animation is just done. Spot over there to use its cameras and survey the room for any red solo cups on the ground. If it detects one, I want it to move over to it, position itself above it, and piss me a nice tall glass of beer so that I don't have to. And then I guess it can fuck off and find more cups to piss in. And you gotta start somewhere, right? So let's start where most things do. That's right. We obviously know the outcome because he's just he's just shown us it doing it. I was gonna say I was gonna say what um what program shows you the ending before <laughs> the penis. This is my first prototype of the penis, and by prototype I mean this is what's going on the dog. I'm not gonna make another one. Like all penises, it's a two-axis gimbal driven by servo motors, so it moves left and right and up and down, all to aim this guy, which is. I guess kind of like the urethra. It's what's being what's fed the pressurized on? beer. I'm using water right now. I like this using guy. Using like a solenoid to control it. And... Fuck. Better example. It's facing straight down like it will be when it's attached to the dog. And I can move it around and reposition and kind of aim the piss so that... Uh... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> 
which is kind of cool. But the thing is, I'm the one aiming the piss. We need a way for the dick to detect the cup and aim itself automatically. I'm thinking a camera and some sort of computer vision system thing. That was a shit idea, past Michael, and I hate you forever. It turns out when you run computer vision stuff on a Raspberry Pi, you get like two frames a second, because it just can't process the images fast enough. That, or I'm stupid and set it up wrong. Probably the second one, honestly, but either way. Raspberry Pi, Raspberry Pi is a great, but not necessarily for video stuff, because it demands too much. I know how difficult it can be to, to, to edit videos that I do for you guys, and it's it, they're fairly basic. I don't think a Ras imagine a Raspberry Pi editing the videos just like you said, yeah, two frames per second. Wait, it's not fast enough to track a cup. But Ooga Booga, caveman brain idea, we don't need the computer to understand that this is a cup. All we need is for it to see all the brightest pixels in the image because the inside of the cup is entirely white. So I wrote this code that generates a mask of the brightest pixels on the screen and then it literally just averages their position. It's maybe the smallest IQ solution I could have come up with, but it works fucking amazing. But Michael, what happens when the floor is also white? Won't the camera get confused and not be able to track the cup? Well, first of all, fuck you, smart ass. But also, yes, you're right. You can see that the camera's having a super hard time differentiating between the bright pixels on the floor and the ones in the cuffs. But there's a pretty easy workaround. First, you dynamically set the camera's brightness on startup, and two, you just light the shot. And now, all that's being detected is the cup. This is thanks to a quirky little physics so thing clever. that Veritasium would call the inverse square law, and I would call light get more dim when it more farther away. And what I like about him so far is that what he's saying is actually is actually pretty complicated. You, you, you've got to train to do this stuff. But to him, it's so simple um, um, because he's trained in it. Um, so I wouldn't have a clue. I do not have a clue what he's talking about um, in the sense of, of the editing, uh, the, the, you know, the, the technology and the writing codes and stuff. I don't have a clue. But he's, he's got that funny, quirky way of... of dumbing it down so that you understand basically you know how good is that he's able to dumb it down so anyone can understand that's probably why this video has got over nine million views insane and since the cup is closest if to the I could light have source, one million it will always them, have the brightest pixels in the frame. Please it's don't trust no, anything I just said. I didn't go to school. I'm stupid. I'm not a physicist. Don't, don't trust. It could have all been wrong. It could have all completely been wrong, but it, but it still works. It still works, right? So, yep, look. Now when we combine the camera system with the penis, it can aim itself perfectly at the cup anywhere it is in the frame. And when I leave it alone for a while... It's gonna fill up. It's not missing, is it? Uh, but they've got to Perfect solve the problem of how much. Every time. Oh my god, it fucking worked. I've never tested that before. I was like 95% <clears throat> oh, sure it would fuck it up. <laughs> Beard tastes like shit. It's time to attach it to the dog. Not wrong. But how do we Beard do that? Beard that Maybe nice, we it? can use... Movie magic. I forgot to record the attachment process. Let me go it's find nice, someone to nice, fun, fun editing going on. <laughs> Hey Very buddy, pal, let's go, I got some cool thing to test. So you're famously alcoholic among us. Wait, no. So this is really gonna suit you very well. And welcome into the garage. Why is a robot dog chained up? Let me set the scene. Ignore the sex swing robot I'm dog. I'm sober now. Now you can get your fix. You don't have to fill the cup yourself. Uh-oh, empty cup, nothing in the cup. You don't want to pour it yourself. You don't want to pour the... <laughs> You're an alcoholic, Yvonne! Take the cup, put the cup under the robot dog's crotch. Like, right... That's the crotch part, right? <laughs> Surely she knew what he was doing. And now you have a nice cup of beer! Claim your prize! Why does this freeze? I haven't God coded that part out yet. <laughs> <laughs> and that's yours to keep, even. Oh, wow. Thanks. Yeah. So they, Can't help but notice they gotta you haven't solve drank the problem the of only yet. filling the cup, not overfilling it. But you gotta, you gotta. I call that a success for the penis. Now all we gotta do is teach Spot the robot to move around the room to any red solo cup it can see. Originally I was gonna use the onboard cameras for this, but the quality on the onboard cameras is, it, it's rat shit. It's like a VHS tape from the 1990s. The TensorFlow model I've been using to detect the cup does not play well with the camera quality at all. But luckily Boston Dynamics sells an improved camera attachment for Spot, so we just need to head to their suck. So they're making this, they're making this, sorry, am I, sorry, 
20, nearly $30,000, nearly $40,000, 20,000, 22,000. Like, how are they charging so much? That's insane. It's expensive enough as it is. Wow. Fight and pick one Just wow. up. Uh, yeah, I you're thinking the same as me. On Amazon for thirty dollars. To make a wireless for Spot is easy. Just take the output wire of your camera and adapt it over to RCA. Now that you got RCA set up, we're gonna plug it into your RCA to HDMI converter, and we all know the output of that bad boy is going in your wireless HDMI transmitter, it's which of course sends signal over to the uh, wireless, wireless HDMI receiver, wireless, yeah. and then that is gonna go back to the <laughs> fucking wired HDMI. Plug in the just that easy. This is always the funny thing about wireless things. Yes, it's sort of wireless, but you then have loads of wires crammed down the back of a cabinet or something like that. See, now you can vlog yourself on a wireless security camera. Or fucking, what was I doing? If, right, to put it on a robotic dog so it can piss beer in the cups. Why have I not said this out loud before? Why am I doing Sorry about that. <laughs> it Maybe does seem a strange thing to want to do. I but... cleared the dog's astigmatism, and it can finally see clearly enough for us to teach it how to find one of these. All right, I'm going to put the Madness. program I wrote for Spot up on the screen now. I know you kind of have to be a giga genius to understand code, but let's try to walk through some of the advanced logic I use Look to program the, the dog. Look at the doggy thing. If Spot sees the cup Just to the left of the screen, the spot. <coughs> turns left. If Spot sees the cup to the right of the screen, it turns right. And now maybe the most advanced concept in Spot's programming, if it sees the cup in the middle of the screen, Go to it will walk forward it. to it and place his dick above it. <laughs> oh, I, I unattached the dick. <laughs> it actually is almost moving like a female dog or a boy dog that hovers. Like, even the action looks similar. But you, you, flip, you get it, you get it, right? Is it not sick as shit? Is it not cool? Do a security camera, right? So I think the idea is you give it some sort of idle animation. I just set it to spin around in circles and then you're chilling. You're day drinking with the boys. No, you're not. You've been in quarantine and you haven't seen anyone for eight months. You're sad More and than you're eight drinking months alone. Now, buddy. And I don't want to fill up my cup when I'm sad and drinking alone. So I plop it. See the cup. Oops, got it. No, nope, hasn't got it. I should have tested it before doing that whole spiel. There we go. Oh, oh. Oh, it fucking works, Higgins. So clever. <laughs> it's so clever. Wait, it fucking works. I know the concept works behind what he's works. doing it's is just first silly. Time was a fluke, and I have to fix nothing. But it's proving yes. go, how you yes. can code yes, anything. Piss in your cup. It is just all numbers, That's you know. That's so fucking sick. That's so cool. That's so fucking cool. That's so silly. That's all the discrete parts. That's the dick. That's the pissing. Just That's so the silly, yourself but around the so room clever. I just have to fucking mush them together. Welcome to the future of alcoholism. We've been there before, all cup and no beer. That ends today. Introducing Boston Dynamics Pissbot. Nope, not <laughs> Piss Boston Dynamics, 9, please stop sending us cease and desist. Pissbot, just Pissbot. Hours of research have resulted in the most advanced beer pissing robot the world's ever seen. All at the flick of a switch. The only problem is now it doesn't look quite as cool, does it? With a lot of tanks on top of it. <laughs> Looks like some uh, secondary school sort of DIY, not DIY, design tech. Cutting some wood and stuff. Robot dog. You can be wherever you want, right? That's the magic of it. You put it on the ground and you just back away. No way! <laughs> so bloody clever! Oh, oh no! Oh no! It's messed it up. Do he it was again. so Do it excited. Oh, no, the tank pressure. Oh god, it's slipping in the piss. Oh go! Oh. You know what? Do your tank. Go. What is it doing? Oh. Is it? <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> it's <laughs> It worked, it worked, it worked. The previous one just reminds me of, you know when um, 
like phone companies, like like uh, or Microsoft years ago when Microsoft were demonstrating a new technology on their computer and it blue screened, or like when a phone company has their presentation and they're te- they're showing the crowd something new and it just doesn't work. <laughs> That's what that reminds me of. Everything's been tested backstage. And then when it's live in front of everyone, it just goes wrong. It's the only cup of beer. Then you barely even notice him. He's just like in the corner of your house. What's he doing now? Yeah, he's just okay, in the he corner just, like, stamping up and down. Else needs their beer fill. Come on, you're really embarrassing me in front of the people right now, honestly. <laughs> oh, no. There's almost too much pressure. Like, yeah. Too much pressure. Yeah. Put, knock, in the, knock in the cup. Come on, you know you can. You do have a wet floor. Oh, no, 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 move over here, bud. No, don't Let's go just appreciate the, don't go back the, the coding. Oh, appreciate this. Oh, no, oh, oh, shit. Oh, 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 It's just pissing His everywhere. His working flawlessly 35% of the time. It's working so well that I wanted to hop on a Zoom call and show this innovation to Boston Dynamics, but guess which company ghosted me once Again, at this point, I just want to drive to their headquarters in person and give them a piece of my mind. Did you know Boston Dynamics is in Boston? I don't know why I thought it was a good idea to drive from Los Angeles to Boston. I definitely underestimated I don't even know the Boston amount of time. Is, to be oh, hey, it's the school I went to. Lily, really look, it's my old college dorm. Good times, man. Good times at this college. <laughs> Good st- oh man, it fucking sucked. I hated <laughs> it here. Anyway, I completely underestimated what 45 hours of driving. I know. Well, to be fair, considering the views on this on this video, I think the drive was worth it. But America is what well, I say. America, no, that's not fair. United States is huge. It is huge. It feels like my legs are like 90% three hour blocks. journeys I just couldn't think of me. a way to end the video and I went Herder Boston Boston drive funny I don't know maybe I just needed to get out of the house and severely overcompensate it's literally Haven't made Boston is all around the other I, side I kind of miss it so I'm looking forward to making more ideally without the six month break in between but no guarantees the new Minecraft update looks pretty sick and so that I might be busy with that for a bit and hey after We've eight all days, a We've couple all pop there. tires, and 2,988 miles, we made it to Boston. So I can finally do what I came here to do. Piss, piss on there. Something definitely gonna wee somewhere in it. Ha! <laughs> Get pissed on. <laughs> Alright, let's drive back. Yeah. Yeah. I will stress the coding, the coding in this video was brilliant. He made it look so simple, but it's not. What a fantastic video. I'm going to check out some more of his stuff, I think. Well, if you enjoyed it, guys, hit the, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit that bell icon, and I'll catch you next time.